Brunei Darussalam is enforcing its first Sharia penal code six months from now. Punishments include death by stoning for adultery, severing of limbs for theft, and caning for various violations. Hudud laws cover six areas, theft, illicit sexual relations, making unproven accusations of illicit sex, drinking intoxicants, apostasy, and robbery. The laws will only affect Muslims. In a Tita royal speech during the launch of this year's knowledge convention, His Majesty the Sultan and Yang Dipertuan of Brunei Darussalam said the Sharia or Islamic laws will be enforced in phases. His Majesty said the Sharia penal code is a special guidance from Allah. Alhamdulillah, dalam sejarah, sejarahnya Brunei Darussalam, selaku bumi bertuah ini, tidaklah pernah meminta kebenaran dari sesiapa untuk memilih Islam sebagai agama resmi negara. Demikian juga, kita tidak meminta dari mana-mana pihak untuk melaksanakan undang-undang jenayah syariah demi kerana ia adalah semata-mata hidayat khusus daripada Allah kepada kita. Sesungguhnya, hidayat itu adalah bulat menjadi hak Allah. The monarch further said that the legislation is now part of the great history of our nation. The legal system is a unique hybrid where Islamic laws are integrated into existing civil legislation, making them Sharia compliant. All existing legislation in Brunei has been reviewed to ensure they are Sharia compliant and amendments made to sections that contradict Islamic laws. State Mufti Pihindata Ustaz Haji Abdul Aziz Junid explained how cases would be handled, stating, The Sharia criminal law is very neat, very cautious and its conditions are very tight. There must be four witnesses and all four must be just. He added, this is different from civil court, which accepts whoever is a witness, including children and those who are sinners. His Majesty pointed out that the move is in line with Brunei's vision to become a Zikr nation with a Malay Islamic monarchy.